Okay, so I'm going to have to tell you what to look for because it's going to happen once. Um, I have found that the um, problem with the program increment where we had to run it through the 7474 to clean it up still exists. It still gives me a double pulse or an unusual pulse. So I've put the 7474 back in there. The microcode is doing double counts to execute one uh, PC increment. So I'm going to try to reset the computer, which is a random reset. I have to plug it in and out a few times. When it does catch, you will see the program counter zero, you will see the instruction zero, and then it will start. And then we can watch the uh, uh, address lines count as it's executing the program. The program is um, opcode 00 10 times, opcode 1 10 times, opcode 3 once. So opcode 0 is just to take the contents of the program counter and display it. So you'll see it count. It'll go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 10 instructions. And then it will execute opcode 1. So you will see this change from a 0 to a 1. It will then execute opcode 1 10 times. Opcode 1 is just to display the number 1 10 times. Then it will uh, fetch the next instruction, which is a 3. You will see a 3 loaded into the microcode. So it's going to execute instruction 0, 3. 0, 3 is the jump instruction. You will see the program counter get reset to zero and you will see it execute a second time. So it will execute one and ju one jump instruction and then it'll do that whole thing over again. So here we go. There we go. That's counting. Executing correctly. It'll count to nine. It will then do ten of these. Then we will see this instruction go from a zero to a three, a uh, one to a three. And then it did the zero it's doing it again. It's it's executed the jump instruction. Everything's working fine. It does this ten times again. And then you would expect it to do a jump. And it doesn't. <laughs> it always does this. It always gives me an FF. I think what it is, is um, I now have a problem with the PC increment uh, that I need a low going pulse. And now I have a flip flop so I'm actually executing a square wave. I don't want a square wave. I, I want something that goes low and then stays high. And I think what happens is somewhere along the jump instruction, it gets out of sync, and um, it must maybe glitch the 7474 to count one more or something. Anyway, it, it it gets off. So instead of going low, high, low, high, it's high, high, low, high, low, or something like that, and it gets confused. But what we've seen it do is it actually be a computer. Um, it executed a program. It did opcode 00, zero 10 times, it did opcode 1 10 times, and then it did opcode 3, which was a jump instruction. The jump instruction says, increment the program counter, go fetch the next location in RAM, and write that into the program counter. The next location in RAM is a 0, so it takes a 0. It writes that into the program counter, then the program counter starts off executing at 0, it runs all again. So, it is a computer! Oh, there we go. All right, it's running. Counts to uh, nine, then it does one, 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 one. And then this will be instruction three. Loads a zero, goes, uh, goes again. So, quite pleased with that. It's actually a working computer. It's doing everything correctly. Um, we need to figure out the timing of the uh, of the uh, PC pulse. There must be an extra glitch in there, and there must be something in there. I think what we need to do is have some type of uh, system where it's a set reset or something. Uh, it gets rid of that bounce. Um, I need to look at that. But um, I think at this point in time, we can call it an actual working working CPU. Uh, the CPU is this half of the board. Uh, it is the clock generator. 
the micro instructions and the program counter. Um, the computer part is on this side, which is uh, I.O. input, which we're not using, a bus monitor, which is nice. Uh, we have a uh, I.O. output device register, and we have ROM and RAM. And um, you might say that this actual uh, latch right here is part of the CPU. It is demultiplexing the, um, it is the address, um, uh, RAM address uh, counter. Um, so you may or may not count it into the CPU, um, but basically that's the break. Um, looking good.